practice. Practice. Everyone talks about practice. I love to paint traditional oil painting. I do big stencils. I love to draw. I think drawing is the basis of all fine arts. I think that's pretty agreed upon. I uploaded a video a few months ago of me doing drawing sessions, practice sessions, and I think people liked it. A little view into how I practice. You know, I would never really show my traditional oil paintings in a gallery or my drawings. I just love the craftsmanship of drawing and oil painting. And it's something I want to do for the rest of my life, I think, a practice that I really hold dear to myself and I want to evolve and progress over time. And that's just like a sport, just like a language. You know, I've said that so much and I'm going to beat it in like a broken record. Um, and so if you don't maintain your practice, if you don't maintain the language, the muscles of that language, you're gonna lose it. Um, and I, I still consider myself a beginner, but I take it seriously and I like to chunk out time um, to progress in these things. And I went to an atelier for over a year. So the way I kind of practice drawing when I delineate that time is a very academic approach. You know, there's no correct way to draw. I tend to go to figurative stuff, portraiture specifically. So I sprinkle in my own thing, but I definitely go towards the academic route. But you know, Stan Prokopenko, Andrew Tischler, Cesar Santos, those are great mentors who are amazing masterful artists who have videos online. So they're great people to check out. This is just how I do things. I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna do four drawings. We're gonna do a 20 minute, 40 minute, one hour, maybe 90 minutes, and then a two, two plus hour drawing. And that's gonna be a bunch of good hours spent with a pencil. We're gonna stick with a pencil, I think, today, unless things change, let's find out. So you don't need all that to draw, obviously. I got a $1 charcoal pencil, a $2 needed eraser. And I lied before, we're gonna do three 15 minute warm ups with some kind of gestural figurative stuff, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna do a 30 minute drawing, a 90 minute drawing, and a two plus hour drawing. Let's go. Warm-ups, how important are they for me? Very important, you know, it's so surprising how tight I actually am after not having drawn for two days or two weeks. It takes me so long to warm up and get familiar with how I hold the pencil, how I move it, my wrist and arm, you know, I think of it directly like stretching your legs before a run. And that is all warm-ups are for. I was just copying some figures in my drawing book and the agenda was just to get loose and you, you know, get the grease off the joints. This is just scribble, that's the point. We're gonna jump into the 30 minute drawing. I think I'm gonna stick with the figurative theme. So here we go. timing I give myself this was closer to an hour 45 50 minutes than the 30 minutes I gave myself that's just because I want to render it out and I have such a blast and I'm in my studio having fun but it's not the best practice you know in terms of discipline and sticking to the timing I gave myself like in the atelier where their model is on the stand and you got a certain amount of time and then she comes off the stand and you kind of stop it's fine I'm just in my studio having fun practicing spending more time is never a bad thing but I'm happy with this. You know, I smudged with my finger, which isn't always the best practice. It worked out kind of delicately and nicely in this. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with her face and the leg is a little wonky, but uh, moving forward, uh, we gotta talk about the sponsorship though real quick where you can learn techniques like this. I'm not trying to teach these techniques. I'm just showing you my practice. Skillshare 
has people who can teach. You know, Skillshare is a reoccurring sponsor and it's one of the only ones I like to have sponsored because it's actually something that I have used and I think that my viewers can use. You know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes ranging in genres of creative and entrepreneurial disciplines and they are taught by the leading professionals in those disciplines. Whether you're just curious about creative endeavors or you want a career path, you know, Skillshare's premium membership has unlimited access to all these classes so it kind of works for any type of person some classes that I would recommend that kind of pertain to this video I am making is drawing techniques for pencil portraits a more fine arts styled video but then also digital illustration learning to use procreate and I use procreate all the time I think it's an invaluable resource for digital artists in this age Skillshare obviously sponsoring this video it's epic if you click the link in the description you get a two-month free trial that is awesome take advantage of that thank you Skillshare for sponsoring in the video we're gonna keep drawing I think we're gonna draw a skull not that one but a different one the skull drawing we're gonna do a three-quarter view I printed this off Google for reference by the way the women figure I also got off Google I just didn't want to show it because of demonetization she's a naked woman we're all mature here we got toned gray paper for the skull drawing I love toned gray which means we could use the white color pencil just a standard Prismacolor white color pencil we got uh, HB mechanical pencil pretty standard and needed eraser. That's all we're using. It's gonna be a blast. Let's begin stop real quick because it's been 30 minutes and I'm just feeling really good with the pencil in my hand I'm feeling really good about the rubric the outline finding the proportions of this skull I think I'm obviously more confident with like portraiture faces a skull rather than a figure but I'm at a good point and I think I'm gonna start with the white pencil to go in immediately with the lightest points so then I can kind of delineate the darkest points and then we'll just kind of go from there for another hour I think <laughs> say about this I love drawing skulls I love using white pencils on the tone paper I think it was 90 minutes well spent it was a successful drawing I think the nose eye socket area is a little wonky but I think I got the cranial mass really well like it looks like a full skull it even looks a little short over here but I think that just looks great I'm happy about that and also the lighting design you know this this lighting is really weird there's obviously like dark points but I was having trouble figuring out the direction of where it's coming from obviously I think it is coming from like straight on ish up but I think I get a, I did a better job of kind of delineating the light side and the shadow side so um that's what I have to say, a little critique, and then on to the next drawing. I wanted to go big for this last drawing, and I was thinking what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do like a full figure, um, very detailed, and I was thinking what, and then it hit me, the Statue of David by Michelangelo. This is a printed piece of paper from Google, just for good reference. And I was lucky enough actually to go to Florence two different times to see the Statue of David in the Academy. Um, I got to do a 30 minute sketch. It was super epic. It was a crazy experience. You know, Michelangelo is an artist that you've probably heard of even if you don't know anything about art. You know, a super famous painter sculptor from the 16th century in Rome and all of Italy. Got two books here. I love collecting art books. This is actually from Florence. And then I also actually have a nice little pamphlet book on David himself. So. That's awesome. Uh, I'm super excited. It's pretty ambitious. You know, it's going to be quite challenging for me, I think. I'm going to spend so much more time than two hours than I gave myself. I already know it. We'll just say three plus hours. But it's going to be quite the epic drawing session. Let's begin. <laughs>
four hours later, we're finished. You know, I'm super happy, most importantly, because I sat down for that long. I did the three drawings, you know, it was over seven hours of drawing in the past two days. You know, I do other work and um, so this is what I was doing in the studio the past two days and I'm just happy that I put those hours in. That's the whole point of the video and what we're talking about practice. In terms of this David's um, drawing, I think it came out successful, but um, you know, four hours is so long. I think I can do better. And you know, I always think about this kind of weird meta thing. If I can do this, why can't I do better? You know, it's like, is it because I'm not doing this enough? I'm only doing this once every two weeks or something. But you know, so I think about that four hours is such a long time. I feel like I can make a more concise, clean, uh, even more stylized drawing. I'm still very happy with it. I think it's successful, but that's just what I think. I hold myself to high standards and I think you should too if you want to improve especially, but it's all about, you know, being realistic about putting time in, what your goals are um, and how you're working, how you're learning, all those things. This is kind of me just spitballing, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. A bunch of drawing sessions, a bunch of practice. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments, leave them. I'd love to answer. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to stay tuned because we got a bunch of crazy projects coming very soon. See you in the next video.